The defense is presenting its case in the alleged road rage case of Theodore Edgecombe. He's accused of shooting and killing an immigration attorney back in 2020. Stephanie Haynes joins us live now with the latest on this trial. Stephanie. Carol, the state rested its case late this morning. Now it's the defense's turn. Theodore Edgecombe is claiming self-defense. He did not take the witness stand today. That's tomorrow. So instead, the defense called several other witnesses. One of the state's final witnesses was a Milwaukee police detective. He interviewed Jason Clearman's wife, Evangelina, after the shooting. He testified she told him she and her husband first saw Edgecombe that night when they were driving west on Brady and swerved out of the way while Edgecombe was riding his bike. On cross-examination, defense attorneys questioned if he found out where exactly this took place. At any point in this investigation, did you ask Ms. Clement to get inside of a vehicle to take five to 10 minutes to locate the location of the first incident? No. Prosecutors then pointed out Edgecombe fled the scene. Did the other guy in the incident ever walk into MPD and say, I know exactly where this thing happened? No. The defense team took issue with this question, citing their client's right to silence. The judge said the question was okay. Mr. Lamar again tried to imply that the police officers were not doing their job. Had Mr. Edgecombe stayed there, he could have said this is what happened. Once the state rested its case, the defense started to present its own. Attorneys called several Milwaukee police officers to the stand, asking them about the role they played in helping investigate the scene, who they interviewed, and how they helped point out potential surveillance video. Stephanie Trotter testified she was driving home with her family when she saw a woman in distress. She says Evangelina Clearman told her her husband had just been shot. Did you call 911? She said no. So I began to call 911. She stayed on the phone. Evangelina Clearman testified last week she called family and friends after the shooting. On cross-examination, prosecutors pointed out Trotter told police Clearman was too upset to call 911. You basically just stated that you, she, she was too shaken to call 911, so you called for her, correct? I asked her, has she called 911? She said no, so I called, yes. Tomorrow, the defense is going to call an expert witness who also testified at the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. They say that they should wrap their case tomorrow so that it should be in the hands of the jury soon. Live in Milwaukee, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. Stephanie, I know you'll stay on top of that. Thank you very much.